Hello fellow investor, welcome to a new video on my weekly wheel strategy. If you remember, uh, last week I was unable to record the video because I was traveling, but anyway, I executed the trade, so maybe you take a look at the Google Sheet file and you saw what I did, but anyway, in this video today I'm going to recap what happened. So we will see the trade of last week and we will check the trade I will do today, which is Monday. So without wasting any other time, let's jump in the Google file right here. Previous week, where I was unable to make the video, I had this cash sugar put sold at 49.5 with 26% delta, delta, which give you a, a very low premium and it expired worthless because we are a little bit in a bull run for uh, the market in general, but also for this ATF. So last Monday, what I did, I sold another cash secure put because again, in the wheel strategy, I will keep selling cash secure put until I get assigned and after I will switch to covered call. This time I really try to push as much as possible because I want to get assigned just for the purpose of this video. So I sold at 51, which I cannot say was in the money, but was almost in the money. Uh, the, in fact, the delta is 47%, which is quite high, much higher than what I used to sell the delta. And it's also much higher than the delta I was expecting doing this uh, will strategy, but I understand that maybe I need to spicy thing a little bit uh, to try to get assigned more often, just again, for the purpose of the video. So 47%, uh, 25 as a premium, I mean, after commission 24.1, uh, which is quite good comparing the commission I got uh, in the other weeks. So let's take a look at my interactive broker account. Let's see what happened. Here is uh, the trade that expired worthless. This was a cash sugar put at 51, as you can see. Expired worthless because uh, the ATF was uh, higher than the strike price. So just to summarize again, when you sell cash sugar put uh, and the price of the ATF or the stock end up higher than the strike price, you don't get assigned. If you go lower than the strike price, you get assigned and you're forced to buy 100 share at the strike price. In this case, I didn't get assigned because the price, as I said, was lower. So let's now take a look again to XLF and try to sell uh, a very, uh, again, not an in the money cash secure put, but almost. Let's go to the option chain with expiration in four days on Friday 6th of December. Let's check the put and uh, let me remove this, we don't need it. At the moment it's trading to 50.8, so 51 is already in the money, let's say, while 50.5 is uh, out of the money. I suggest to keep going in the money and take a quite high premium. I know it is risky, most probably I will get assigned at this time unless would be another bull run during the week. Let's check it. Oh, again, sell order. I always do this mistake. Market price, submit, everything is correct. And uh, yeah, sold it. Let's check the trade. Oh, what is right here? so at uh, 40 so at 0 0.4 so quite uh, a nice premium so i sold 100 put again at 51 oh the delta i forgot to check the delta honestly let me let me see it again uh, the delta was uh, 0 0.58 probably was a little bit different when i sold it exactly but let's consider 58 come on uh, so 58%, uh, today is 0 to December, um, selling price 0 0.4, so quite a night premium. And the, uh, was again, sorry guys, the, where is the commission? Yeah, commission 1.05, so commission 1.05, so a premium of 39, uh, uh, exactly $39, which is higher than all the premium I got up to now. This because I'm getting riskier and riskier. I'm trying to raise as much as possible the delta. This time I basically sold in the money. So I need to hope for a bull run in the market. Oh, I want also to say that uh, I added this column on the file. Uh, I explained in, in previous video that maybe I should have done before and I did it right now. So here when my call option got assigned, so, so I'm forced to sell 100 share of the ATF. In that situation, I will write here if I got uh, a gain or a loss because uh, 
in this case uh, the cash secure put uh, was assigned here at 47 so i booked 100 share at 47 and two weeks later i was forced to sell at 47.5 so the 0.5 at the end is a capital gain and i needed to write right here in the moment i will get assigned again to a cash secure put uh, when I will get assigned to a covered call, if there would be a loss or a gain, I will write it right here. Consider we arrive to week eight of this, uh, let's say, project. Uh, I will probably think uh, to continue, but I want to take a moment just to show what is happening right now and what is the situation. As you can see, at the moment I had uh, in premium $166 plus 50 of capital gain, so we are talking about $215. But at the same time, if instead to do all this will strategy, I will just buy 100 share of this ATF at 46, that was my first strike price. Right now, I will have an realized gain of 479. So you can think about why I need to do this will strategy. I mean, it's completely useless. No, it's not exactly like that. I think I will going to make a video about that, but right now I want to explain uh, as fast as I can. It doesn't matter which option strategy you're doing. The, it doesn't exist an option strategy that will be better than the market in any market condition. This is impossible. Otherwise, people will not uh, invest uh, in the market directly, will just run uh, this kind of option strategy. So there is always a situation where the market can be much better than the option strategy. And a bull market is always better than selling covered call or cash secure put or will strategy or whatever selling option you can think about. Selling option or writing option, how we want to call it, is a way to cap your gains. Get a premium, but cap your gain in case of a bull market. And this is quite clear and you can see the result. The best result you can get from a will strategy is when the market is fluctuating. When the market is fluctuating you will have a huge capital gain and after huge capital loss considering that you are not selling your stock i expect because it's a bull is a, a buy and hold strategy you will see your unrealized gain goes up and down while if you instead run a will strategy you will get the premium at least this premium will be in your pocket the asset value will remain basically the same because it's fluctuating but you get a huge amount of premium but when the market direction is clear like now is clear bull run direction is for sure not the best option strategy you can run unfortunately none of us can see the future and basically nobody can see the future so when you decide to run the will strategy you you are affected by how the market is going so i did it as an example i mean i make this video because i want to show how things work as a result i can beat or not beat the market that this is not the point anyway we have other eight week maybe the market will start going down we don't know and we will see another side of the will strategy but uh, let's see so thank you for watching and to listen all my talk about uh, uh, option strategy if you have any question or whatever thing i said or i show it just drop in a comment i will try to reply or in the platform on in the next video subscribe to the channel because you know it helped a lot and uh, see you next week